Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, this is the trade that we had scheduled last night. We sent out a video to sell a 382 retracement in the gold at uh, 2765. The high was 2571, excuse me, 2572. We had a $10 stop, so it didn't get filled, and now it's starting to go. Now you would have your stop at your break even point. You had a very small. A, B, C, D pattern in here went up and then it failed. And right now it's doing just backing and filling, really not doing much. But, you know, this was a big number we had up here. If you remember, that was the, the double A, B, the 1618, the 16. Folks, I'm only hit on about two cylinders, so bear with me here. There was the first 1.618. There's the second 1.618. So if this is correct, and I'm not sure that it is, but if it is, we should get a correction at least down to this level right here in the gold, which would be down almost $90 from a high. We've already $60 on the way back, $30 on the way up, and we could easily get to 2716, okay? That's one we wanna look at. Now I wanna show you one chart that is flat out bearish, folks. We talked about this yesterday a little bit, and let me get it up here. It's the old Lone Ranger's favor. Clayton Moore, Jay Silverheels, Tonto, Okay, I don't know if you guys know this, but remember what he said, uh, Kimosabi, I think that means trusted companion, as I remember from my uh, cowboy days. Okay, here's the hourly chart that we had on the silver, okay? Remember this big ABC that we had? Look at this little tiny rally that we had, folks. Silver could only rally about 40 cents, and now we're breaking down below this. This is incredibly, incredibly bullish. I'm a, let's try it again, folks. Bearish. Incredibly bearish. Hold on, folks. My my limit minder is going off on the, the Dow Jones telling me that we've broken down below the 50% level. And I want to get ready because if we close badly here, folks, this is going to be a, not a nice time here in the Dow Jones. Since since we're on that, let's just, let's just bring this up here to show you what the Dow did today. We're going to go to the hourly chart so that we can see you know where we are now here's here was the sell point was way back here if you remember on the uh, 18th this is when we had the double a b c d that's on this long-term weekly so you'll remember if this was i featured this as the one two they're all oh, the, their drives are off a little bit because of the way they do it one two and three there's your three drives to a top pattern they were double a b c d's just like we had on the daily 1.618 here, 1.618 here. I mean, it was just everything you could ask for. There was yesterday's low. Okay, now we had a rally today. Okay, a very strong rally. We rallied from 417 all the way up to 416. Folks, <laughs> do you know how many points that is? A 600 point rally in the Dow, and look what it's done. All you have to do is look at your hourly chart, look at your 382 right here within 12 pips of the exact 382 from right here to right there. Now, when it got to that point and didn't quite make it, I said, well, that looks pretty interesting. But if we close down in here, I don't know where we're going to close, but, you know, we've got uh, three hours to go, and it's certainly not moving up, at least right now. And, of course, the thing you should do is you're watching this, something like this. Uh, oh, I have to show you the real beauty. Of, uh, oh, I'm a little off schedule, but I'm jumping around here a little bit. Hold on just a second here. Give me, give me just a second, and I'll get this straight. I have to show you what I saw in the S&P this morning and uh, tried to take advantage of it. All right, let me get this up here. I'm going to get up on the 
this is the S&P. Yes, this is what I want to see. Okay. All I'm going to do now, this is the hourly. I'm going to go down to a smaller time frame just to show it to you, and you'll be able to see it. This is what I wanted to show you. If you if you believe in 382s, here's the early morning action. Okay, here's the overnight low right here at 57.22. Okay, we have the ABCD move up here. Here's the early morning move. We pulled back right before the open, right there. There was your 382 right there. Folks, this took an hour to get to that point. The exact number was 57.55. We are only 14 points away from it now, folks. We're 40, uh, 40 points away from the high, 14 points below this. If we close below this number right here, it's going to be pretty uh, pretty uh, nasty. But right now, as you can see, all it's doing is making a 50% retracement of the whole thing that's in here. This should be really strong support for two reasons. There's the old high from early morning. The boys that play with those numbers there at the old, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, algorithmic traders and stuff, they know those numbers. And so this should be good support setting right there. And look at it from the low that we made right here. It's also setting, uh, well, it's setting between the 61 and 786. But this is very important support right here. That's why my little beeper just went off on the Dow Jones just a second ago because we're at the same point right now. That's only four points, but we want to watch it very closely for sure. Okay, all right. Now we move on. And I'm going to show you – if you haven't been to funerals lately, folks. I'm going to show you one that we've been talking about for a long time. That This is the big problem in the market, folks. It's not, it's not the stock market. It's the debt market. This is the bond market, folks. Tremendously bullish news. It can't even take out the highs of Thursday. I mean, that just uh, Wednesday, excuse me, that's Wednesday's high. I can't even take Wednesday's high out. Uh, we all just about made that 382. Yes, we did. We hit it again today, too. Hit the same 382 number, and we've dropped almost two handles, folks. This this chart, look at this daily chart, because this is a chart that looks uh, beginning to look real ominous, as you can see here. Refreshes for the last couple of days. This is where the problem lies, folks. Uh, when you see something like this, it's down so much from that level, and boy, that's a, that's a really big deal. Remember on the weekly chart, it was right there. Could not, just all it could do was match the highs of t January. That's all it could do now that the, the uh, got to take a deep breath and slow down. Most of you have seen this again, but it's so important that we should look at it again, okay? And this is the Treasury notes, and we'll get the Treasury notes up here because they start with a T Q R S T. There they are, hidden in plain sight. Now we're going to get the weekly chart up right here, and you'll see that we made that perfect A, B, C, D there on the weekly. And I said, folks, this is the most bearish pattern that you can get, and... You can see what's happening, all right? It's just falling and falling. Look how many weeks we've been down now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. So we're due for a bounce. The question is, well, it's certainly not going to be today because they've hammered them again. Let's look at this on the smaller time frame and see if it made a 382. Oh, it might have. Let's look because we made the lower low. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, we, we did make a lower low. Boy, it didn't rally at all. Oh, this is... This is nasty, folks. When you get a big rally like this and then it fails, ooh, shut the front door. Not very good. There's your high. You can see some of these 382s on the way down. There's one there. There's another one right there. And there was another one almost this morning, missing it by just a couple of ticks. But it doesn't look good right now, folks. We'll be right. <clears throat> we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at the soybean oil market. We're going to get the daily chart up. This is about as perfect as a pattern you'll ever find, folks. There is your 78% level coming in at 56.50. Uh, uh, the ABCD comes in, excuse me, at 46.50. The high was 46.63. It's now 60 points in your favor, which is $300. So your stop would go right above here. So you're basically in a risk-free trade. So that's what we're watching here on this one here. It held up absolutely uh, perfectly. That's what we uh, posted this early this morning. It was just everything that you could uh, possibly ask for. You can see the perfect A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. You know, that's what I do. Don't work all the time, but nothing else does either. So let's move over here to a couple of things that we need to talk about. That The chart that looks the most bearish to me, folks, is that silver chart because it literally gave up after making that ABCD and then failed without very much of a rally. That tells us that there's something different. By the way, the open interest in these in the gold, uh, with making this high up here at 2800 for uh, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have had – no, that's not true. It's mon One day was an uh, increase in open interest, but the other three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, have all had drops in open interest, which means there were no new buyers coming up there. And I think that's what happens when there's no new buyers because for it's an it's a, uh, auction market. For every buyer, there's got to be a seller as opposed to stocks. Anyway, that's what that's what we were watching here uh, today, looking at that. Someone's asked me to take a look at the soybean market because it had a pretty substantial move this morning that I was not aware of, but we're going to take a quick look at it right now. We'll just get up here, and we'll take a look at the November beans. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have to look at January because November beans are now history. we got to go with the Jan. 
and they will be right here. And we'll get up here and see what the Jan Beans are doing today. Well, they had a pretty good – oh, this is the weekly timeout. Let's, get, let's look at the hourly. See, we had a pretty big rally here, and then it sold off uh, quite a bit. Let's see where the rally stopped. Okay, here's uh, – stopped at the 786 of the previous high back in – which was actually – Boy, it would have been better to sell the, the soybeans than to do the soybean oil, but the, I didn't see this at the time. There's your 78% level uh, coming in. Actually misses it by about a penny, and now it's had a pretty big break to the downside. Looking at this on a shorter time frame, if you have an interest, you might want to keep a close eye on it because if, in fact, you get a 382 retracement off of a of a big downtrend like that, that usually is a pretty good trade. So you'd have to get up here. Oh, it's only four cents. You can get that before the end of the day, and then your stop would have to be above the 618. So you're selling it. Then 3A2 comes in at uh, 99.96, and your stop would have to go right above here. Risk about uh, 1002. That would give you a total of $300 risk. But if, and this is a big if, if that is in fact the case, your profit objective on this would be here, okay? Because that would tell you that you'd be moving like this to the movement of this one right here, and that's down. Uh, see, selling there. That's a you're risking three hundred dollars to make a thousand, folks. If that works, three hundred dollars to make a thousand with a probability of better than sixty percent. That's like betting on Sandy Koufax in the World Series or a Sandlot game, whatever you have to be. I have a great baseball story, folks. I lived in Westlake Village for 18 years when I lived in California, and one of our neighbors that lived right behind us in Malibu Lake was uh, Sandy Koufax. He was married to Linda Widmark, uh, the actor's daughter of Richard Widmark. It was his only daughter. And they used to shop at Gelson's Market just like we did. And we used to see him in the store all the time. And I would be pushing my little daughter in the little cart, and uh, he would come up. And uh, he was really surprised that I knew who he was. I mean, can you imagine how humble somebody could be? I mean, I watched him play basketball when he was at the University of Cincinnati. He was such a nice fellow. And anyway, it was, it was really great to meet him. But, boy, you talk about somebody that could pitch. Oh, my gosh. He's got records that were just – he had to retire at the age of 32 because of an arthritic condition that he didn't want to be a cripple. And, uh, but he's made a great livelihood out of the uh, baseball thing. But he's a super nice fellow, super nice fellow. Uh, anyway, let's get move on. You don't want to hear my, my stuff here, but I remember it. That's what I got going for me these days is my memory. Let's take a look here at the AI here. I'm just killing some time. See if the AI told us anything about this. Now, this is not really a very good fit. To me, this is an upside-down version of what happened. So I would have flipped this over because it's making a high instead of a low. And then I would just wanted to see you know, what the mirror image of this pattern would be. Now, what you're looking at here, folks, is a – well, there you go. <laughs> not too bad. But anyway, remember, after we get past this time, it doesn't always work. I mean, this has to work right away or it's no good. But the reason why – all this is, folks – this is the key time of the day. Now, this is a Friday, okay? So the key time of the day is at 10 o'clock, not on Thursday, but on Wednesday. So let's just go over on Wednesday. Come on, Larry, get over here on Wednesday. There's Thursday, Thursday. Wednesday is right here somewhere at 10 o'clock. And let's see where we were Wednesday at 10 o'clock. There's 1015 right there. You see how close that was? Now, is that hard to figure out? It cost me $300,000 to build that program, folks, and you got it and without paying anything for it. So you got to match it up with the night with the numbers because that's what makes things work for it. But that's uh, that's what we're watching here uh, in the soybeans uh, here this morning. Now we got to cover a few stocks from my personal point of view because we're having some really good volatility today, and I want to uh, extend this on so that we can uh, see what we're doing right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Stock, see there. S&P came right off that bottom just like it should have. And we're rallying up right now. We're going to find out how much rally has got. But if we, if we close down in here, folks, not going to be good. Not going to be good. All right. So that's just one of the things that we're paying uh, close attention to here uh, right now. All right. Okay. Now let's get over here and take a look at our favorite stock. It's not my favorite, but it seems to be everybody else's. I, I say this because I have a very uh, – 
very uh, what he, I guess he's a he's not well I mean, he's an acquaintance I've never met him but he belongs to our group and he's always uh, doing things nice for people that need it and he always asks for apple he, he's owned apple folks <laughs> for so long that you can't believe it but apple is getting hammered today as you can see here oh boy talk about hammered my gosh it sure did Oh, well, how can the Dow Jones be up with this? Well, there's other stocks in the Dow, that's why. But look at this. This is a Dow stock, and it's down a huge amount. But look, it stopped, looks, stopped right at the old 618, it looks like. Uh-oh, hold on just a minute, folks. Something's happening, and it's feeling good. Hold on. This is the gold. Now, you get me where are we at here? There's a gold coming down here. See, the gold's starting to break down, which is good. Now, we have to see if it's going to continue. I'm just going to turn this off so we don't have to listen to that baloney because we just took out the lows here of a few minutes ago at 49, and we're going to find out if that's going to hold the uh, hold the thing or not. But, we, folks, we're going to be looking at some volatility just like we saw. I mean, yesterday, who would have thought that Dow Jones would be up 500 points after being down 600? I mean, it's because, you know, uh, they bring out a report that uh, employment was basically unemployed, whatever it is, those numbers are. But the market reacts to that. And that's why you've got to remember that when that happens, you've got to be, you know, right there near the promised land, okay? We're going to take a break here, boys and girls. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs.
Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I have to make a video for my uh, son-in-law. He's an attorney, in, uh, a big-time attorney there in London, there in Canary Wharf. And uh, he is trades the British pound, and we went short up in here, and he was concerned that the British pound had rallied 100 pips. And so I'm going to make this video. These are the kind I make for the folks every day. So bear with me. Give us something to do. It'll be a little different than what we usually do. First thing I do is I snag it like this, and then I come up and I hit record a video. And then I hit start. Okay, Jackie, here's the British pound. And now we've been down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks from our ABCD pattern right in here. Now, we've had a big move here this week. All we're going to do now, Jackie, is go down to a daily chart. And you'll see that this has been coming down very, very sharply. The last time we had a rally, it rallied a little over 150 pips. All we've done so far today, and I'm going to bring this up on a little smaller time scale, just so you can see, this is the rally that we've had today. Now, this is a pretty substantial rally because we went 100, 100 and, uh, 120 pips, which is $600. But remember, we sold this way up here at one, well, I got to get the hourly chart so you can see it better. And this is where we sold it way back. Oh, dear, it's still not far enough because it's so far. We sold it right here. So you see this rally is really not very much at all. It's just another rally. Just Well, let's just compare these just for kicks and giggles. The last time we had a, a really good rally here was from this level right here. Okay, we rallied that amount. So, oh, shucks, got the wrong tool. Get this up here right now. And there was the rally went all the way to right there. Okay, now we, we know these markets repeat, so the second rally should be exactly equal to what we've done so far today. And there, these two rallies are equal, this one and this one. It's still extremely bearish because if you look at this on the long-term weekly, we are going to probably complete what this move did right down here, bringing the pound down to 100, 123 is basically what our – 123, uh, 150, as you can see, that's what we're basically looking at. Now, if I'm wrong, we will get above 3,100. And if I'm wrong, but that still locks in a huge profit from where we went uh, short. So I hope that's well. Tell Amy I said hello, and uh, may God bless, and we'll see you soon, I hope. Okay, folks, now I got that done, and then what I have to do is I come over here, and I put it in the save mode. And I go into Dropbox so I can put it under my things. And now I'm going to do I'm going to do something different than 24/7. Uh, I'm just going to put Jackie in here. Uh oh, she's already got one in here. And I will do the same thing. And it'll say uh, repeat. Uh, I want to change it. Yes. And then later on, I'll send it to him. And uh, I'll get rid of this one here. Ah, uh, boy, you better. Yeah. All right. Let me double check something. Well, I'll double check it later. Get back to you. Don't want to hear what I'm doing here. All right. Let's take a look at the euro. What it's doing. Oh, we're getting some speed here, moving here in the gold market. This is a good thing. Oh, we're getting a little speed here in the stock market, here. folks. There's trouble in River City. I can tell you that right now. I mean, th this is. Well, just shut up, Larry. Just do your thing. Hell, no one cares anyway. Let's get this up here and take a quick look at it. Someone asked a question about Tesla, and I'll do some of these stocks that we do, and we'll see what's going on. Here. Oh, Tesla, TSL. Tesla starts with a T. There it is. Should have got to that 382 today. Yep, we came down now through the 382, which is not a good sign. Remember, we mentioned that, uh, well, we're, I think we're right there. From your low up here through your high, 382 is, uh, we've come down through it. That's not a good sign, folks. So that's a see we make a new high from August and then look what's done. This is what a lot of these stocks have done and that's why it looks so uh, so ominous at times. So 
anyway, that's it. The most bearish chart of all, folks, well, not counting the stock market, is this silver chart. This is flat out, hands down, really bearish. Let me get this up here so you'll see it. Uh, hold on. Uh, silver starts with an S, right? That's down here. There's silver right there, and we've made that A, B, C, D. Oh, my gosh, we're... This is this is really not good. See, we made the ABCD on that hourly, and that's all it could do. Let's do the hourly so you can see it. See, we make that beautiful hourly here, and all it can do is this. I mean, this is nothing, folks. Nothing. You know, it's uh, oh, the S and P's just took taking it. Somebody put the hammer to the S and P. Hang on, boys and girls, we got a crash coming on Monday. <laughs> I haven't taken any medication, folks, other than my throat medication. But I'm just so god darn bearish. I can't, I can't hold my, I can't hold my uh, emotion back. Anyway, let's uh, hold on. See, these markets are acting really bad, really bad, folks. They have great, they have great news. Look at it. Look, at great news, and it just keeps wanting to sell off. I mean, somebody's pumping it. I mean, we, if we start getting below here, you better get ready because you had super good news and it stopped right at the 382. Boy, you got to be, and this stopped right at the 382. The Russell stopped at the 618 and they're just, they're just taking no prisoners and Russell, Russell's almost ready to make new lows already. Look at this. It's not very far away. It's only 15 handles away. It made a 50% retracement of the high, which was uh, two days ago, which was the exact daily number. Put that daily up here. These markets are acting badly with good news. That's the best time. Here's here's the good thing, though, is we do have an ABCD coming in here, uh, potentially here down about another 40 handles. But, boy, if we start getting below that, whew, look out. Well, we're going to go below that. It's just it. Folks, I've been doing this a long time, and I will tell you this one more time. There is no more bearish pattern than that one right there. Three drives to a drop. Tie one, try two, three. See, I've seen all the Elliott Way people. Not one person on those Elliott Way people has said anything about that. So hold it. And that's it. Hold on just a second here. Richard said that um, Goldman Sachs might be moving. Let's take a quick look for old Richard and see if oh, Richard's not old. He's my age. Let's take a look here at Goldman Sachs. And then we've got a break coming up here. Goldman Sachs. I uh, got some great stories about that. Uh, hold on just a second. My favorite stories are the baseball stories. I had my teeth cleaned yesterday, folks, by Miss Arizona. And uh, <laughs> don't worry about it, Richard. You're on the, you're on a preserve list, pal. You're, you can't do anything wrong. Now, actually, uh, uh, there's where we are right here. This is Goldman Sachs here over the last few days. Let's look at – we had a pretty good rally today, but it's given up quite a bit, but it's still up quite a bit on the day. Let's just look at the uh, our uh, smaller time frame. And uh, there, oh, we made a beautiful ABCD here this morning. And look at that. If you like Gartley's, and we do, we'll be right back. We're going to be right back. So bear with us, okay? That's where we're looking at right here. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is Goldman Sachs. Um, I was referred to uh, one of our listeners who happens to be a good friend of George Soros and told me that Goldman Sachs is his favorite stock. Anyway, as you can see here, we, this is not a three drive to a top pattern because there's no symmetry involved here. They have to be expansions. This is not a three drive. This is a butterfly because this is matching highs. That makes it a butterfly. But as you can see, there's your first ABCD measures of 537 and the high was uh, 540. That missed it by $3. So that one certainly didn't work. And we got another one right here. There's another ABCD right here and you'll mark it right there and that measured to uh, 529 but remember you have a gap in here so you have to add the 1.27 to that so if you add the 1.27 to that we'll put it in here 127 and you'll see that uh, that measures to 41 and the high was 40 and a half so that one didn't work well the only one we had that worked I guess was the interday when we were looking at today here and that one worked because you got an A, B, C, D, and it stopped right pretty much where it did. And we'll, we'll see what it does uh, from that level. So that's what we're watching here in the uh, here in the Goldman Sachs. So let me move this out of the way here. As you probably guess, folks, I'm killing time because my throat hurts like hell. But you can see here this market is. It, we'll just look at the Dow Jones. Forget these others because that that's. Uh, we'll look at the S and P. That's the one where the big daddy rabbits play. And you can see here's where we are now. We're starting to come down. Something occurred here in this right here, folks, because we dropped 20 handles. Uh, somebody uh, put in a big order to sell or did something. It wasn't me, I can tell you that. Um, anyway, that's what we're looking at right now. My, my whole premise here, this is my whole premise. If we close down in this area right here, I don't know if it's going to or not, but if we do, you're going to be looking at some real serious stuff coming in here this weekend, it, probably related to Iran and Israel. I don't think it'll be related to the election stuff because I really don't think that's going to make a big deal uh, right off the bat. Later on, it might. But, you know, and hey, you know, what do I know? I just I just look at charts, folks. I know I'm as boring as heck because all I know is A, B, C, D and a few old stories. But uh, that's gotten me through to the promised land, sometimes better than others. But. That's what we're looking at right here. You can see here we've had lower tops in here. That's basically telling you something was wrong. Each time 
it started a rally. Here was your 382 rally off of this, and then now you're, well, you've, got, you've got some ABCDs coming in here. Let's clean this out, and we'll see where our next support should be. Let's get rid of this last one, and we'll see where we are. Okay, here's what we've done so far, and we're going to look at it from your low that we made back here. Uh, uh, i got to go get the real low, which is over here, and move it over right there. Because that low came in at 27, I believe. Was it 27? 32 was the low. So we move over here. Gee, we're only 30 handles away. We're closer to the low of the day. Ooh, we're almost at the old. Ooh, do 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 do. Here comes the big rabbit. Here's where we're going to find out whether they play the game, folks. We've got an ABCD coming in right here at 61. Okay, now 382 didn't hold it. 50% didn't hold it for a little while, and then it rallied up. And so what you want to do now is watch to see if this holds and see if the next rally goes from 69 up to rallies 20 points. This was a 20-point rally. We hit this. We should rally 20 more points, taking you up into this area right here. But if we start getting below here, we start getting below here, that's telling us, uh-oh, something's really wrong and possibly, and I'm just saying possibly, there's your high. Uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Just a minute. Get this up here. Take a look at it. Uh, I watched the Dodgers win the World Series the other night, and I uh, got phone calls from my daughters because we had gone to so many. Well, we'd been to the World Series games in 88 and a couple of the Yankee World Series that they didn't win when Tommy John plays for the Yankees, but uh, we had a, a lot of memories that they uh, remembered, which was a lot of fun. So anyway, watch this level right here, folks, because if it doesn't hold, now this is, you know, this is micro trading, but it's still really good. Hey, this was micro trading right here on the open, folks. I happen to be seeing this. The trouble is I couldn't get my thing up and running to even buy it because there was your open. You see, it came, it took a whole hour to get right down to this 382. There's your open right there, 930. Boom, bang, bang, and it goes from, uh, 55 to 05, $2,500 with only one little down tick right in here. And let's just look at that, just a little down tick. We're going to go to a four minute and we'll be able to see it. There's the move right here. There's your little down tick right there. Let's just see what that one did. Okay, we'll come up and take a quick look at it from your low. The high was right there and then it backed off right there to the 382 again and then bada bing bada boom and that's what we're looking at so this is what we're paying attention to right now folks is to watch that uh watch that number well, well i guess that was a 30 13 minute maybe i don't like i only use 13 and 8 oh it must be 8 so just give me a second hold on it's coming down pretty hard though yeah there it is it get, starts getting below here there's going to be some uh Serious trouble, but there's no trouble yet. It looks pretty good, but there's two hours and 15 minutes to go in the trading day, and that's not an easy gig to do. We have a request from someone. Hold on to take a look at copper, the metal. We did that the other day. We're going to do it again. HYG, here it is, uh, right there. Get this copper up, and uh, boy, it hasn't done anything. Oh my goodness, it's still it's gone sideways here. Let me update this. Let's just look at it on the four hour so we can see it real quickly all right quickly there it is look at this boy this you talk about oh trading range at a low level like this hello operator boy we start getting below here boy it's going to be lights out this is not much of a not much of a move uh um, we'll get here from the last high we made well we had a high here that was a 50 percent then you had the lower high right here let's just see how it followed the 382 that one was 61 that one was 382. That one was 382. This one would have been 382, but now we got lower highs. So it's in a real tight trading range now for seven days, folks, and it's gone nowhere. What do you think the odds are it's going to take this out to the downside? You know, you saw you saw gold during this time and silver shoot to the moon, and uh, even platinum shit shot to the moon. I have to show platinum, too. Someone asked that. When I talk loud, it hurts. Hold on just a second. We'll get platinum the metal up here and see how it's doing today. Oh, well, there was the high. It was the high was yesterday. Believe this or not, folks. Let me get this four-hour chart because this had one hell of a move. Look at this. It went up. It made a new high. <laughs> it's come down now. And then today's range, you can see it could barely rally at all. 
there was yesterday, there's today. Let's just see if it tried to make a 382 and it didn't. I can see that right now. It misses it by uh, quite a bit, $10. It's just too much, but it's starting to weaken up here a bit. So that's what we're doing here. Let's check, check the old clock on the wall and tells us we got 37 seconds left. And then we're going to take a quick look here at these other things. We're going to get rid of the copper and we'll get rid of that. And we'll see that the S&P is bouncing up a little bit. So we'll be right back, folks. So stay with us here. Hang in. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the chart of the Dow Jones. Uh, pay attention. The last time we had one, we dropped uh, 2,800 points in the Dow. We had number two, we dropped 3,700 points in the Dow. And so far, we've gone from 35 to uh, 22. That's 1,300 points. So we're going to be going, this will be bigger than this one. So this was 2,800, so this will be bigger. We're probably going to get down to at least this, which is 39,000. And it's a possibility we can go off the bottom of this page, too. The reason why is, folks, we haven't had a real major correction in this darn thing for a long time. But this is, this is one bearish pattern. Just go back and look, boy. This is this is Mother God and country. 
I'll leave it at that, but there's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. They're perfect in time and hit the exact price, 4,000. 43,570 43, was the sale. The number was 43,581. And right now, I think we're trading at 20. I don't even know where we're trading in, in the Dow Jones right now. In fact, I ought to probably check that while we're looking here. And uh, we brought bounced a little bit here. It's trading at 42.24, folks. That basically means it hasn't done anything on the week. Well, it's had a hell of a rally today. But if you look at this on the on the weekly, there it is right there. There was the low yesterday, and this is where we are right now. So be careful, folks. We get below here. Uh, it's not going to look very good. That that That's just my opinion, of course. You know, it's like uh, armpits. Everybody has one and usually smells. So let's remind ourselves of that as we go through looking at some of these things. Okay, now I think that's it for the day. So I'll see you folks on Monday. Uh, I believe we're going to have Mr. Shane Smolian as our guest on Monday. And that is also Veterans Day, so no, it's not. Monday is the 4th, totally different. But don't forget the 5th, folks. That was Roy Rogers' birthday. We'll have some stories about Roy Rogers on that day. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs> <laughs>